In Windchill, you have several different communication mechanisms. In this video, we're going to take a look at two of them. We'll take a look at subscriptions and emailing pages. Here I am on the structure tab for a CAD assembly that I have worked on. Let's say I want to be notified anytime someone else touches this. In order to do that, I can subscribe to this object. The way that you do that is by going to the Actions drop down menu. And near the bottom, you will find subscribe. I will click on that and this will open up a form. Here you have the name of a subscription. Maybe I'm going to change this to be a little more friendly by renaming it to something more descriptive. And here it says subscribe to all versions. That is fine. Then you have the different kinds of events that you can choose in order to be notified. So for example, maybe I want to know when someone checks this out or checks this back in. Let's say they edit the attributes or edit the content. Uh, they have some other ones in here, markups I really don't care about. Let's say someone tries to move it to a, another folder. Tell me about this. Then we have some publishing. Maybe I also want to know about revising it. And workflow state changes. Here you have a check mark that you can use to specify which of the available lifecycle states you want to be informed about. But I'm going to uncheck that and just leave it at the default of all. Let's go to the next button. Here you can select the subscribers. And by default, you, the person who created the subscription, are going to be subscribed to it. But you can also add other people to the subscription. Maybe there are other people on the design team that you want to be aware of changes to this. Hey, you can use the find button in order to find those different users in the system and add them to the subscription. Here's a from drop down list. You can specify whether you want the email to look like it came from Windchill or from you, the subscription owner. And here you have delivery. You can do it immediately, which is the default or according to some schedule. And the last thing that you can specify for the subscription is optional. You can add a subject and also a message. So for example, maybe I want the subject of the email to be made changes to drone cable harness. And then for the message, you know, type in some other stuff in here. And lastly, you can set an expiration date. Maybe you only want to be notified about this stuff for a few more months going forward. Hey, we can specify in the calendar that, you know, maybe I just want to be informed about this until the end of March. And then I can click on finish and the subscription will end up being created. Next, let's go back to our home. And we have different buckets of information over here. We've got my tasks, updates, and checked out work. If you go to the customize drop down button, you can add subscriptions in here. And I can see that right now I have two different subscriptions. If there's a subscription that I no longer want, I can select it and then use the X button here in order to delete the subscription. So subscriptions are a great way of keeping informed about changes to objects that you care about. Let's take a look at a, another mechanism that you have for various different objects. I'm going to browse in here. Let's go to our changes and I will take a look at change requests in here to find one. Okay, here we have a change request and I can look at the information that's put in here. Maybe I want to tell somebody about this. I want to point their attention to it. In order to do that, you can go to the quick links in the upper right hand corner. And here we have the option to email this page to somebody else. And so it will bring up a form in here and I'll list any other people that are members of this. And I'll just select the one other person in the project, which is me actually in the product. And then you can tailor the subject inside of here. Maybe I want to put in this information about ECR and then, hey, need your feedback on this. And that's pretty much all that you need to do. Then you can click on the OK button and then they will be sent an email that will contain a link 
to this particular page inside of Windchill. So there you have it, two different communication mechanisms that you have, subscriptions and email page. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.